Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 60 of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, I had just done a lot of ammo management. Because <laughs> with the weight, with ammunition, it kind of makes it necessary. As hell. Um, did not expect another uh, traveling merchant to be coming through. Anyway, um... I think we're going to bring ourselves back to the Crimson Caravan and get that uh, letter from Hildern. Yeah, that's right, Hildern. That smug son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> get that to her about the whole thing that we were sent on to get to him in the first place. Uh, to help out the Crimson Caravan. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's what it was for. <laughs> Alright. No real reason to have my weapon out, but... I'm surprised there's no, uh... Trader here. For their stuff. Usually there is. Um... Yeah, she's in here. I think. Yeah. That's what I thought. It was just being weird with the market. It does that a lot. All right, and Lafferty. Welcome back. Mick Lafferty. I deliver the invoice just as you asked. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? Like how so? What other work you have? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. Uh huh. There yeah. is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And Fair finally, enough. I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Um... Tell me about the negotiation. <laughs> There's a small <laughs> trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. Hey. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Oh, yeah, Cass I'm sure you do. Cass trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave Outpost. I want to know about the problem with Henry Jameson. The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. Mm -hmm. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes, and because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. Well, plenty of other companies do, though. What, what's the Gunrunner job about? The quality of the Gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Was there something else? Um, okay. I think that's about it. It's been a pleasure. So well, go ahead and do that. And I think first we're going to get rid of the uh, useless employee. So, uh, on to Henry. Tell him to fuck right the fuck off. <laughs> Which would be glorious in its own right for other useless employees, I know. But... Well, not get into that. <laughs> oh. Okay. There we go. I was looking over at my phone and I had a couple notifications. And I'm like, why? <laughs> at this time of day. Okay. If he's here, he's... He's in Freeside. Okay, I'm pretty sure. So, no... Now, Cass is all the way back at the Mojave Outpost. 
So, yeah, the other uh, Henry has to be in free side. That's what I meant to say. I uh, was not that close, buddy. <laughs> not your guy, pal. I'm not your pal, buddy. All right. That rat is was stuck in the ground there for a second. Okay. Um. The guy's probably well over this direction. He's probably in the Atomic Wrangler, now that I think about it. But I don't know if the Wrangler... Yeah, the Wrangler's past that door there. So, yeah, he's probably there. Uh, hmm. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. They have a kid out advertising for Mick and Ralph's? Hmm. Huh. That makes sense. Cheap labor. And there's no labor laws in the apocalypse. So, hey, works. All right. Uh, the motherfucker's probably over there. Yeah, at the Atomic Wrangler. Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper, the tables more friendly, and the women are just like the booze. So cheaper? Okay. <laughs> that's a uh, that's a ringing endorsement right there, I guess. All right. We'll uh, have a little chat with Henry Jameson. Should he be in here? Yep. Ooh. I like that music. Where is that? There he is. Yo, you. Oop, I'm standing on stools. I'll sit on the stool next to you, buddy. And we can talk about your continued Shove working Shove off. You're situation. making my luck turn bad. I'm here to talk about ending your employment with the Crimson Caravan Company. Fuck no. No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, oh. I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? Ooh, I love you. So you don't have the Omertas money yet? I'll let them know about that. No, no, wait. Look, I just need time. Don't rat me out to them. You want me to quit the Crimson Caravan? Fine, I quit. You can tell McLafferty that she won't see my face again. Well, that was easy. <laughs> All right, that was far more easy than I expected. Well, hey. Let's talk to these guys. Maybe they have some good work. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Uh, how's business? We ain't scraping to get by, that's what you're asking. Well, I figured. You have any work you need done? We've got the basics covered, but now you mention it, we have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. Mm -hmm. If you can recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities, I'd be willing to pay you finder's fees. What sort of proclivities are we talking about? Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls and a thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. Okay. Plenty of customers have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker. Someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then mm -hmm. there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. Have you ever run across a sex bot? Not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. I think you doth protest too much, buddy. Uh, I expect a hundred caps minimum for each candidate I bring in. Just don't rough up the merchandise before delivery. You break it, you bought it. Okay. Surely these escorts are critical to your business. How about double? Okay, you got yourself a deal. Find escorts to fill the positions and I'll pay double. Alright. Just direct them to the Wrangler. I'll pay you when they show up. Sounds good. Okay, any idea where I should look for the sex spot? And the best place to start would be with Ralph, at Mick and Ralph's over on the east end of Freeside. Other than that, your guess is as good as mine. Fair enough. Goodbye. Later. Well, pimping's not exactly the uh, idea I had in mind, but hey, it'll work. 
and Francine. The Welcome sister, to the I guess. Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? So, do you have any work? I have some work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well, needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. Well. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. So, what kind of caps are we talking here? If you bring all their debts back, we'll give you a cut of each. 25% is more than fair. It would add up to 150 caps if you bring them all in. Hey, I'm doing all the work here. 50-50 and I'm game. All right, 50-50 it is. But you better bring back all of the caps. If we hear you crossed us, the next bounty hunter will be coming for you. That'll be easy. Got yourself a deal. Great. There are three people who need to be tracked down. A real mixed basket of fruits. Their mm -hmm. names are Grex, Santiago, and Lady Jane. So, Grex? Grex is a bit cracked, but mostly harmless. Just don't mention anything about his lazy eye. He owes 138 caps and should still be around Freeside. Okay, that seems like chump change, but then again, I'm kind of rich by Fallout standards. Uh, Lady Jane. Lady Jane fancies herself a high roller, but she's just another dirtbag NCR prospector. Oh, I'm not sure okay. where to find her. I hear she's run goods for the followers of the apocalypse in the past, but other locals might know more. She owes us 250 caps. That's a little significant. Santiago. Santiago is a suave son of a bitch, but a total pansy when it comes to fisticuffs. Mm -hmm. He owes 212 caps and should be around Freeside as well. Okay, that's all for now. Any <laughs> okay. <laughs> My voice cracked there. That was weird. Okay, goodbye. Talk to you later. Yeah, talk to you later. Uh, we will... I think... We'll deal with some of those as of right now. And I'm pretty sure they're... One of them is over here, I'm Hello. fairly certain. Uh, I think I might have my pistol out because I have a feeling it's going to be some crazy motherfuckers over here. Yep. There they are. Freeside thugs. There's always a couple. And there they go. Bye-bye. I could have swore I heard bullets whizzing by and hitting metal. I was just trying to make sure I'm not losing my mind, which is completely and utterly possible. <laughs> um, that's, that's a quick way to repair some stuff, so I'll have that. And... Whoop. That's a... Uh, Oh, this must be the entrance to you the look strip. You Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Uh, why wouldn't I want to go past the greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Oh. Thanks for the free advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. Hmm. What's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Courier? I used to be a courier before I got shot in the head. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. So how'd you get in a butcher? My father ran a butcher shop here in town. But business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. Oh, that sounds odd. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying told you so. Well, shit. 
<laughs> uh, what was the uh, crier job like? After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Mm -hmm. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, mm -hmm. and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. That son sure of a enough, bitch. a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. That's horrible. Yeah, but what can you do? I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Like armed guard? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. You're not wrong. <laughs> and I figured that, but... <laughs> so, you got paid for sex. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. Fair enough. So, you were a gun for hire after that? When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living, and I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again, and after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. Cool beans. All right. Uh... He mentioned he felt like a piece of meat doing that job, so I don't think I want to force him into helping the garrets. So, see you later, man. See ya. And I think the lady... Oh. Buddy, what what the hell are you doing? Well. He got fucked. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, this must be her. There Hello. she is. Lovely to meet you. Lady Jane, that's an outfit. I was hired by the Garrets to track you down. In that case, I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? Jane, I can tell you're lying through your teeth. Damn! I didn't want to hand over all of my caps because I won't have enough to get home to California. Here, take it all. I'll find my way home one way or another. Well, that was easy. Okay. Now we just need to find Santiago. If he's a smooth talker, though, he might be great for the job. Maybe that would also... Maybe that would also help with his debt to the Garrets. I'm getting ideas, folks. I'm getting ideas. I think that's what we're going to do. But I think he's on the other side of Freeside. So in other words, past that door there. God, that music is great. Man, oh man. <laughs> Gotta love that. Alright. Travelers along the Long 15 have complained to NCR Rangers that caravans have been harassed and attacked by fearsome super mutants living in the irradiated ruins, re -radiated ruins of Black Mountain. That's what I meant to say, but I cannot speak English. Ugh. Yeah, let's see if we can help these kids. I didn't want to shoot a local, I want to shoot the giant rat. Why did I miss him twice? There we go. Damn, that would have been much more impressive if I got him in one shot. Oh well. I assume Santiago is probably over this way. Maybe? Uh. No! 
This is Grex, I guess. Hello. Yeah. Hey man, can you spare a few caps? You're collecting money to pay back the Garrets? Oh, yeah. I guess the Garrets sent you after me. Look, I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. You don't cheat the Garrets and walk away. Cough up the rest or you're rat bait. Okay, here. That's everything I've got except the clothes on my back. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> Give me your clothes or you get dead. That is rude. I'm not doing that. No. Mess with the Garrets again and you're dead. I won't. Thanks for not killing me. You're welcome. Oh, I didn't really want to kill you in the first place, but... Anyway, and Santiago should be probably over there. And it'll be a little ways before I find them, I think. Uh, yeah, I probably should be on the other side of this building. At least I'm pretty sure that's where he is. I was making sure that was a fire hydrant, not some, like, kid crouching down from something. Uh, that should be Santiago. Hey, Mano. How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. So, James Garrett is working for a Suave Escort. Interested in some work? I am honored they would consider me. I'll start immediately. Down for Later. Me hey, what's this guy doing? Well, we'll find out what's going on over there in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about the games we're currently playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.